Hi everyone, we are here to welcome a fantastic rider, Remco Evenepoel, to the Giro d'Italia Big Family. Hi Remco. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, no problem. A pleasure. So, Giro d'Italia, we are looking forward to see you at the Giro d'Italia from October the 3rd. First Giro d'Italia, first big battle for you in the race where Fausto Coppi, Gino Battali, Marco Pantani, Eddie Max, a lot of great, great champions made history. Are you excited? What do you expect from your first battle? Well, uh, first of all, I'm really excited and I'm really happy to uh, start in such a beautiful race. Um, Italy is one of my most favorite places to train, so uh, I'm really looking forward to start my first Grand Tour ever in Italy. And um, yeah, speaking of results, it's really difficult to do it now. Um, the most important is to enjoy and uh, yeah, uh, arrive in Milano. What will be your main goal during the Giro d'Italia? Uh, wearing the jersey, winning the stage, or just simply survive three weeks? Something um, different for you? Well, first of all, uh, as it is my first Grand Tour, I will try to uh, survive for sure in the three weeks. Uh, see what my body says, how my body reacts during the, the race. Um, but yeah, we've been talking about it and uh, we never know if in those three weeks I don't feel bad, if I feel good, I can go for the GC and I think that's the most important for me is try to fight for a good GC spot and um, yeah, then we will see what position it is, first, fifth, uh, tenth, doesn't matter as, as long as I can take or I mean, as long as I could have taken everything out of my body, I will be happy. Remco, why did you choose the Giro d'Italia as your first Grand Tour? Well, first of all, uh, normally, uh, if the season would have been normal, um, I would start... I mean, it was the perfect program to do a Grand Tour. Um, and then after I could do the Olympics. Um, and the tour is together with the Olympics and the world that comes too soon after the Olympics. So um, it was actually a perfect combination of Giro and uh, the Olympic Games in combination. So that was my first goal. And uh, yeah, with the new calendar, I already said to the Giro, look, if it fits in my program, I will come 100% um, sure. And uh, I gave my word, so then I don't break it. In the international calendar, Giro d'Italia overlays some other races. Um, riding the Giro means to say no to Liège. Are you disappointed for this? Um, I think the most important is the Giro for me. I mean, um, yeah, it's more important for development uh, than one, a one-day race. So let's say that, uh, yeah, I mean, I think for me it's more important to, to have a good uh, three weeks of racing uh, for my development, for my, uh, yeah, let's say, being as a rider. Um, yeah, a one-day race is only five, six hours of, of racing, but a Grand Tour is 21 days of four, five, six hours of racing. So, I mean, it will be more important for my future than a one-day race. And also, I mean, you can say no to a Grand Tour and for sure not uh, the Giro with the parkours like this year. You have already won in Italy, Giro di Lumigiana, Adriatica, Ionica race. What are your memories? Well, uh, as you said, I won uh, a lot of races in Italy, so it's uh, yeah, it's a nice place. I mean, it gives me luck, and uh, hopefully, I can be lucky in three weeks in October. Uh, Remco, Belgium was usually affected by COVID-19. How did you manage, manage those weeks? You are a young man, a professional athlete. Um, how did you manage the, those difficult, difficult days? Uh, a bit of normal life. I mean, I went out for uh, training in the morning since, I mean, in Belgium we could uh, keep going out for training. And then I did my training rides in the afternoon. I took some rest. Um, the only thing that we couldn't do was uh, stopping for a coffee or whatever, but today we can do this again. So that's uh, really nice. I mean, it's good for the head to stop for a coffee or a, a Coca-Cola or whatever. So, um, I mean, the life didn't change a lot. It was just a bit scary not to get sick or um, 
get infected by the virus, but I mean, I uh, was able to stay healthy and um, my training went really well and now I'm building up and uh, yeah, let's say that the program is, is made to be at 100% in the Giro. Memco, extra cycling, how, how do you spend your free time? Uh, I watch movies, I watch Netflix, I play a lot of FIFA as well. Um, so that's actually my biggest, um, let's say, thing that I do beside the trainings and races. So uh, I like to do, to have something that keeps me busy because I, I don't like to be bored. You are a huge football fan. You played football until 2016. You scored a goal against Italy in 2015, if I yeah. remember well. Yeah, sure. Good. What do you like the most about Italian football? Because, you know, we Italian are crazy for football. What do you like the most? Um, well, I mean, the Italian competition is really uh, interesting to follow because um, like a team like Atalanta now is... Uh, not the biggest team uh, in value. So, I mean, the, the money is not as big as in Juventus, for example. So, uh, it's really interesting that, to see that the smaller teams can also go into Champions League and uh, yeah, even become champions. So, I mean, the competition is like really, yeah, a really a lot of good teams. And that's really nice about Italian football. What are your favorite players? Mertens and Lukaku, of course. Yeah, of course, you have Ronaldo also, uh, one of the biggest stars in football. Um, but then uh, there's somebody that plays in AC Milan, um, Alexis Salamakers. I used to play with him in uh, Anderlecht, so I mean, I know him pretty well. And um, also one of my uh, biggest um, idols is Lucas Biglia uh, in football. So he also plays in Italy still, I think. Uh, so those are a bit my, my yeah favorite players. Coming back, coming back to Giro d'Italia, Remco, Alberto Contador said that Giro is the most difficult Grand Tour because of the weather, because of the roads, because of the competition. Uh, what will be the key factor, in your opinion, in October, something different? Usually Giro is right by uh, May this year in October. Yep. Um, yeah, I think the weather, eh? I mean, in October it can be snowing, it can be really cold, uh, it can be sunny as well, so I think the weather can like be three weeks of rain or it can be three weeks sunny, so um, I think the weather will be the biggest factor, but uh, luckily I don't have too much problems with uh, the heat or the cold, so that's already uh, something that I don't stress too much about, but um, let's say that um, the weather will be the, the biggest opponent for everybody, I think. Remco, first day individual time trial, you have the chance, of course, as the others, to take the jersey. Are you thinking about that day? Um, I'm more thinking about putting distance into the other GC guys, um, as it is 13 kilometers, which will be um, a 20, yeah, let's say between 15 and 20 minutes effort. So, um, yeah, I will go full gas for 13 kilometers if I take the Pink jersey, then it's an extra, but the most important is to keep the others in distance. Uh, the other GC guys like Carapaz or um, yeah, Nibali. Giro d'Italia means also great mountains. Do you have a favorite one? Um, yeah, I think Stelvio is really uh, one of my favorite climbs. Uh, I did it already on training, so uh, yeah, for sure, I think Stelvio is one of the my most lively ones, but uh, I also hear a lot of uh, talks about uh, Mortirolo. So uh, I want to do it once uh, in my career, but I don't think we do it this year in the Giro. So um, yeah, I think those two are the most famous one as well in Italy. So uh, also for me, those two are the most favorite ones. Remco, many former riders, former champions, now commentators, uh, said that you have the chance to win. The Giro d'Italia. It, it, mm -hmm. it, you, you can do it, they said. Do you think that is too early at this point of your career? Mm, no, I don't think so. Um, yeah, we've been talking about this with the team as well. And uh, we will go three weeks 
and we will see what it brings. But um, I know for myself that I'm, uh, I have a winner mentality, so uh, I won't give up that easily. So, uh, yeah, we will see. I mean, it's three weeks of fighting. Um, I have a big advantage that my time trial is really good. So um, the most important for me is just surviving the climbs and uh, I'm working hard on that. And best of luck to Remco Evenepoel. Thank you for joining Thank you. us. And we're looking no forward to see you at the Giro d'Italia. Thank you very much.